channel. I spent a year in London as a master's student and in that time I wish I would have had a video like this reviewing all of the coffee shops and best places to study around the city. I spent a whole year gathering footage for this video and this is gonna be quite a long one. Feel free to use the timestamps to skip around and find the coffee shops that are nearest you. For this video I've rated every coffee shop I'm reviewing based on five different factors which are coffee quality, the tables slash seating options, Wi-Fi, plugs, and the noise level and any additional comments that might help you choose whether or not it would be a good idea for you to study there. In London, finding a laptop cafe is easy and hard at the same time. While there's cafes everywhere, it can be tricky to find a place that will allow you to use your laptop, especially on the weekends. You can expect to pay around three to four, possibly approaching five pounds for a coffee in London. It's very expensive. I personally really like coffee. Like, I am obsessed. So I only go to coffee places that actually serve good coffee. So all of the coffee places in this video will be nicer in terms of the coffee quality. So keep that in mind. You could probably find other study spaces that just have bad coffee. In London, some places will limit the amount of time you can stay if you're working on your laptop or they might even make you pay to work on your laptop while you're there or have a certain number of pounds that they expect you to spend there. In general, cafes and touristy areas tend to be busier and it's harder to find places that will let you sit on your laptop, especially on weekend days, so I hope this list is helpful to you in finding some spaces. This video is mainly geared at students, of course, as that is what I was, but it can totally apply to you if you do remote work and just want to work out your laptop in a public space. The first cafe I want to talk about is Host Cafe. Host Cafe is in a refurbished church in the city of London area. It's really beautiful on the inside. The coffee is pretty good. They have a lot of different drink options. They do have a limit though. They they limit the amount of time that you can stay depending on the number of drinks you've ordered. So that's kind of odd, but they have a lot of seating though and the Wi-Fi worked well when I was there. I don't think they had any plugs. Senate House Library was probably the place I spent the most time in during my year in London. You need to get a library card as a student to access this library, but I thought I'd mention it here because it's just such a nice place to study. They have a library in the basement area which you can go to as a study break and you can also study in the cafe area but you can also go upstairs just into the regular library. cafe is the welcome house the welcome collection reading room the welcome collection is a funded museum library reading room archive all of the above they have a cafe area they have a specific room meant just for reading which is my favorite place to study and it's really beautiful super cozy and it's really set up for working in my opinion The next one is Store Street Espresso. There's actually a couple locations. My favorite one is the one on Store Street, but there's another one really near that in Bloomsbury as well. Knockbox Cafe has really good coffee and my favorite location is on Lamb's Conduit. It is teeny tiny, but when it's sunny and the tables are outside, it's a really nice place to sit. Project 68 is also in the Bloomsbury area. They really expect people to work on their laptops there so nobody will give you any trouble and the coffee's really good. Redemption Roasters is a chain in London. My favorite location is the one in Angel. It does get really busy, but they do have a lot of seating areas uh, inside and outside. So it's often possible to get a spot even on a busy day.
Frequency is located right next to the Angel Redemption spot. It's coffee is one of the best on this list, I would say, and it has three levels and nobody will really bother you if you're in the upper or lower levels and you can stay there for hours, it's great. The next one is one of my favorites. It's called Bricky. It's a Greek cafe on Exmouth Market. It's always lively. It's a bit on the louder side, but in a really cozy, pleasant way. If you can stand the noise while you're working, it's very common to work on your laptop there, even on busy days. Catalyst is located close to the Chancery Lane tube station. You can study there except for at lunchtime when they prefer to have people actually eating. The coffee is excellent. Batch Baby in East London also has one of the best coffees on this list. They make really cool creations like nitro cold brews and Guinness cold brews as well, that sort of thing. It's generally like a communal hangout space and you always see people working there or having meetings. Gecko is another one of my favorite coffee shops. It's located in Shoreditch and it looks like a regular cafe on the main level, but if you go downstairs to their basement, there's a giant like work area with tons of tables and everybody in the lower level is working. It's kind of like meant for laptop work. Their coffee's really good as well. They kind of have a vegan slant, so they have interesting vegan food options and it's just a good place with good Wi-Fi, good plugs, all the stuff. As a UCL student, I obviously frequented a lot of places in and around UCL to study, and one of them is the coffee shop that's part of the Waterstones by UCL in Bloomsbury. The coffee shop is called Dylan's, and it's a good place to grab a quick coffee and study. It's pretty loud, and there's a lot of like in and out, so it's not the quietest place, but it is really convenient as a student in that area. I hope that this video was useful to you in finding cafes where you can work and study in London. Keep your eyes peeled for more London content on my channel. I have a whole playlist about when I moved to London and I'm also currently creating a London travel guide series where I review my favorite things to do, see and eat in London. So check out the playlist under the travel guides in my YouTube channel if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, whoever you are, wherever you are. Bye.